What's going on you guys? My name is Ben Can, and today we're going to be doing a review on my new Firestone Wide Ovals by Coker Tire and these are the radial version. Before we get started I want to give a huge thanks to Coker for making this possible. They actually hooked me up with all these tires and I'm really grateful for that. And another special thanks to Tommy Bird at Coker. So let's get started. So as you guys know I've been running the Wide Ovals since pretty much since I had the car so maybe like three years and they looked awesome but they were biased ply and <laughs> simple words they were pretty sketchy. So a couple of years ago, I noticed that they made these in a radial version, and I was like, I gotta get these. And what do you know, I finally got them, and these things are awesome. So the radial version and the bias ply version aren't the exact same. There are slight aesthetic differences. Like the sidewall is a little bit different, and the tread pattern is like a whole different style, but it's still old school looking. So I've been driving on these tires daily for about a month, and I've been really pleased with how they handle. I've been on the freeway, I've been on some canyon roads, the only thing I've not done is driven it in the rain, so I can't really talk about its wet performance, but it's summer in California. I don't think it's gonna rain in a while, so I don't have to worry. But let's stop talking about it in a park location. Let's take it all on the road and talk about it some more. So as you can see, we're on the road now, cruising, and you can feel the difference right away. It's night and day compared to the bias ply. I mean, the bias ply weren't, they weren't crazy around town. They weren't like you're flying off the road or anything. But on the freeway, you were definitely able to feel the difference. Like the grooves in the road would steer your car and it was like a constant battle with the steering wheel. But that wasn't just the Coker tires, it's all bias plies are like that. So the fact that these are all changed, it's, they're perfect. They, like they go straight and they do whatever you want to do. You just turn the steering wheel and they go, just like normal tires should go. So who are these tires made for? I'd say they're made for someone who wants a period correct looking car, but also wants a car that handles like a modern car in the tire sense. So something that's nice on the freeway, grips a lot better, and just something that you're going to take around town and take on actually maybe longer trips. So if you guys don't already know, I'm super into keeping everything period correct on my car, at least in the aesthetic sense, so from the outside, and these tires do a perfect job at that and very few tires can do that on an old car like like in my head old cars are very simple and they're not super intricate but when you put in a modern tire with a crazy design on the tread it just throws it off to me but don't get me wrong there's a lot of modern tires that look okay on old cars and then if you're looking for an old school type looking tire there's only i don't know like three different companies doing it like bf goodrich and uh mickey thompson and coker and Coker, in my eyes, looks like a much older than those tires. So it works on this mid 60s car and I love how it looks. So another question is, do these radials make the bias play version completely obsolete? And I would answer this as no, there's a, definitely a need for the bias play version. And if you're into maybe keeping your car 100% period correct and you want it perfectly 60s style, early 70s or whatever, the bias ply version still works perfectly for that. But if you're someone that wants to drive their car on the freeway long distances and stuff, and I don't know, want something that just acts like a modern car in a, se in a sense, the radial version would work way better for that. But but the bias ply version, you can still drive them, they still handle, they're just not the same as these. That being said, I'm super happy with these tires, like they're awesome, they look good and they handle. So if you're looking for tires that look old school with modern performance, these are the tires to get. So with that being said, see you guys next time.